Oh, Lordy. Oh. <laughs> Loosen it up. We're in that continuity. Baloney. <laughs> Urine. It's not a go kart. It's so small. She's like, I like chairs. Boy. Oompa. Oompa. Where'd that come from? And okay, we're good. Look at them little guys. Getting their little hearts out. Good enough for who it's for. Wow. Oh my gosh, where did it go? What the heck? Dollar General. The bugs are crawling out of it. This ain't somebody so awesome. Yes. I can't wait. Bugs running away. The rats ate the undercoat off. It oh, has a drain yay. pond. Oh, yay. Oh, it's just a little baby. <sighs> you better stop. Well, snap. That's unfortunate. Look, the cricket's coming out now. Got my church hair on. He's so cute. Rocky, he's coming to check it out. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> Do you love it? Yeah. Do the sting real. <laughs> it's moist. That's the thing that goes in the thing. Oh, Lord, Z Day. No wonder. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, sir. It's not for you, Rockies. For a one armed bandit. Eee. Don't cut the cheese. Yeah, don't. Bye. The rat's still in it? Welcome back to the Sleeper Dude YouTube channel. We're back with Mom's 72 MG Midget that I sold out from under 17 years ago and we bought it back. If you haven't seen the cleanup video, this thing was infested with rats and animals and everything else. We don't know what all lived in here. We got attacked by one, nearly lost our life. But we're back with this car now. We're gonna try to get it running. Now I attempted to get this thing running when I was 19 years old and got it running with the valve cover off Put the valve cover back on for us to drive it and the thing would not start back up. We're excited to see if I can finally get this thing running for her and she can drive it, you know? Yes. She never got to drive the car back in the day when we had it and uh, neither did I. But hopefully we can fix that now and get this thing going. Are you guys excited to try yes, to drive it? definitely so excited to drive it. They're wanting to drive it too because, you know, it's about their size to drive. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's just barely bigger than like a go-kart. If you haven't seen the first video, the thing was in a storage building, covered up. You couldn't even tell it was there for 17 years after we sold it. We're going to see if we can get it run today. Let's do it. Woo! Woo! All right, guys. Let's get it in the shop. Which fast we can. We need to have a harness to hook your goats this time. Good job, babies. Good job, squeeze. <coughs> you think we can get this thing going? Oh, yeah. Little 1.3 liter here. But it's got the Weber side draft 40 DCOE or something. We got a rebuild kit for it. We got new ignition parts, plugs, wires, cap, rotor, all that. So let's get the plugs out of it, put some oil down the cylinders, and get that carburetor off. See if we can get this thing what? running for the first time. Plastic. Yeah. Look, you didn't see that last it's time? so small. I know, it was covered with rat poo. Hopefully that rat's gone. You think he's still in there? Yeah. Does it turn over? We haven't tried yet. You got to. Yeah. Come here, come on. What do you want to show me? Oh, she's found something out here by the road. Oh. Oh my gosh. A baby kitten? You found a baby kitten? <laughs> oh my gosh. I wonder where its mommy is. Well, we have looked everywhere and can't find the mama. Can't find any other kittens. The neighbors don't know what's going on with it. So I guess you're its caretaker right now till we it's find the mama. <laughs> what are you going to name it? Midnight. Midnight? Okay. Midnight's not starting. You might have to feed a bottle or something, huh? Yeah. It's a big day for you. Yeah. It needs its mommy. I know, we couldn't find the mommy anywhere. Oh, he's getting a bath. Look at that face. Oh, lordy. <laughs> it's a dirty little thing, isn't it? So, Mom, I think we should start by pulling the plugs out of it. Okay. And putting some marble down there, pulling the carb off of it, and we'll let it sit with some oil in it for a while, what maybe freed up. This mouse jumps out of here. It's oh, actually a rat, it's not a mouse. I guess you're gonna scream and panic again and I'll put it in slow-mo in the video. <laughs> okay. He was last seen right there. I know, he's been eating these. Things. Yeah, he's been eating the plug wires for sure. There, look, look how chewed up they are from the little rat guy. It's funny how this has the big spark plug size and it's so little. Is this Titan? Yes. There you go, you're getting it. What's she look like? I don't know. Well, 
a little sooty like they usually are for a carburetor. They don't look that old. Maybe I replaced them. I don't remember. Auto lot looks like you. Maybe I replaced them. Yeah, whatever's the cheapest. Maybe I replaced them. Maybe the guy we sold it to replaced them. I don't know. They don't look that old. I might just clean them. Okay, sorry. We'll get new ones. Okay. Get you the one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Imagine that. Mom mom. Drops something. Can't make his stuff up. Mom drops everything she takes off a car. Correct? I wonder how it's small. It's so, what's the lesson? Don't let mom take stuff off a car. I don't think that's doing either. anything. Exactly. Don't oh let mom drop. I don't think it's so, it's loosening it up. It's the same deal. There you go. Put you some marble in there. That marble magic, huh? How much did she put in there? I don't know. Just whatever you think. We'll spin it over the plugs out, so whatever's excess will just push out. Drink, drink. Loosen it up. I'm ready to drive this. Where are you going to drive it to? Everywhere. Everywhere? Okay. What about us, Mom? So if it runs. What about y'all? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See so, y'all later. Just, if it runs, we got to get a top for it, right? Yes. For sure. Absolutely. It's about to be winter. And about, it's about to need some casings. Well, you need to do that. Yeah. They surely ain't expensive. You wouldn't think. Surely. You'd think they'd be half price or half as big. How does this work? I don't know. Well, that... Well, tapping it is not how it comes off. You ready? Well, take your throttle loose, take your fuel line loose, and then take your bolts loose. Did I really? do that? I feel like I did this. You did. I That's had something you. to do with that for that sure. Is you. I what about the blue fitting? Ralph, that wasn't what me. That was already on me. What? What do I need to take this off? Uh, Give me some tools. Put some brake fluid in it. We put some in it when we cleaned it up, so we're hoping that it'll kind of self bleed a little bit. Blue? Maybe one of y'all needs to get in there and pump the brakes, huh? Oh. That might help some things. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Somebody break it. I was going to say, <laughs> she's going to drop it. For sure. You should be able to. Yeah. You're going the wrong way, baby. Oh. Oh. So you just got to tighten it a little bit before you loosen it. That. Oh, does that do something? Helps the rust come off there. Didn't know that. We're in continuity. Who needs a magnet tray thing? When you got some tape to yeah, stick it, it to. There you go. That's a fancy fuel line. Like, somebody... She's a fancy car. I'm going to beat the fenders off. I know. <laughs> Poor car. So, this is not a factory intake and carb for this car, from what we can tell. Yeah, watch out. We're so worried. We're all really worried Man, for this car. Never. Never. We'll lose that, seriously. Yeah, there's a certain oh, F100 that has no it. screws left. This is a aftermarket Weber, which is, I guess, a performance upgrade for this thing. Is that the factory exhaust manifold? Let us know in the comments. I'd like this to know. Right here? No, the white one. Oh, this right here? I wonder if that's like a aftermarket deal. I think that's painted. You got oh, what it takes? Yeah, I got it. She Pretty simple setup. I mean, little dinky motor. Mm. It's an engine, not a motor. Oh, my God. What happened to your finger, Wawa? Oh, uh, I broke it playing basketball. Second thing Wawa is broke. She broke her arm. Is it the same arm? No. Uh, oh, no, different arm? different arm. So she broke the other arm at a skate park, and then now she's broke her finger playing basketball. She's accident prone, guys. Poor Wawa. I just love how it looks. It's yeah. So small. It is like, and look, you have to cut all this out if you put a bigger engine in it, because it's such a small engine bay. Same one? Really? <laughs> yes. I'm on the same one. It's line. a long bolt, huh? I'm about ready to rip its little ears off. It is pretty satisfying to feel it start to go, you know? Yeah, it is. Last bolt. It's been a long time getting these four bolts out. They're really fine threads, aren't they? I don't know. Come on, Scooty. Scooty's after something back there. There you go. Is there junk on this side of the blades? Uh, that was close. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Mm. Let me look down the intake. Well, we got junk way back in there, don't we? Mm, Leaves yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I'll get that Yeah, out. we're going to have to take that whole thing apart. Ooh, dee. We don't even have an air filter for it, but that's never stopped us before, has it? What is this baloney? What? Bologna. Look. <laughs> baloney. How is it pronounced baloney and spelled that way? I don't, know. I don't think everybody pronounces it baloney like Bologna? we do. Bologna. Yeah. How do you pronounce your baloney? Uh, baloney has a first name. I gotta quit doing this thing and stuff because you always put it in. And I say edit it out and you put it in. Well, we definitely got some rat pee inside the intake because there is clearly a little pond there. <laughs> 
It's rusted Ew. up. So we'll have to wire brush that up, Ralphie. I guess it's like steel here and it's brazed together is what I'm seeing. TA on the intake runner. Tell me who makes this intake or maybe it's homemade, but real short runner. Should be good for high RPM. Right, Ralph? Yeah. Open the throttle and blow through it. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's a return spring. If you take the return spring off. Here, now try it. So since it's pretty clean as far as, you know, not having grease and junk all over it, we're probably just going to spray this thing down with PB Blaster to loosen it up because it's had rat pee all over it. Probably let it sit for a little bit and then we're going to take it apart. Is the cans empty? No, I'm just, oh. I'm just trying not to give it all oh. of it. Yeah, all those screws and stuff are corroded and rusted up from, you know, rat. urine. So uh, <laughs> this should help things. We're a believer in PB Blaster, aren't we? Hey, I used it on my lawnmower boys. She came loose. Are you gonna rebuild this or me? Oh, I might do it. We'll see. So now we're gonna let this thing sit and soak. We're gonna let the engine soak with some marble, let the carb soak with some PB Blaster. We'll come back in the morning and tear into it. I don't know that I've ever been so excited to get one running as this. I was excited with my truck. I think I'm even more excited than this. It's a really fun little car, huh? I really like it. This this will be our uh, going to lunch with the kids are at school That's car, right. not? It's exactly right. For sure. I know this guy's wanting to drive it. Oh, yeah. Pretty badly. It's not a go-kart. You're going to be inside doing something and see this thing Dude, making this laps around the house. Car. Yeah, your car's going to be making laps around the house for sure. <laughs> so we will see you guys in the morning. They're bottle feeding the little baby kitten. It's so small. It is so tight. Maybe it'll make it. How's your kitty doing this morning? He's good. After it's bath and it's bottle, it's doing good? Yeah. Trying to put it back to sleep? Yeah. <laughs> Ellie's playing with uh, Dolly out here this morning. She wants to play. So we're back. Hey. It's the next morning. So now we've got to figure out if this engine will turn over and we got to get that carburetor rebuilt and see if this thing will fire. Yeah. Maybe we can get that done today. That'd be great. Yeah. Get your rock star? You're such a rock star. I don't think we can get a socket on the end of the crank. Look, there's like a cross member. I can't even fit my fingers down there. I don't think we can get a socket in there on that. Let's see if we can turn it over by the plastic fan blade. Look, oh, yeah. look, you can see rat chew marks on this blade over here. Oh no. Oh my gosh, is that that easy? Yeah, it, it's turning the bottom thing. All right, put it out of gear. It's in gear, it moved. Okay. Got it? Okay. Look at this little guy. So look how easy it is to turn. So, the bottom thing's well, nothing's stuck then. That's good. There's so much leaves. Let's turn it over. Let's put a battery in it. We haven't ever put a battery in it. And let's see if it turns over. Was she trying to make a bed in that chair? <laughs> I what think, are you doing, I don't think she's ever been in a chair. I've never seen her in a chair before. She's like, I like chairs. <laughs> we got our little cheap batteries we put around right here. Can we fit that? <laughs> Can it not fit in there? It's like the smallest battery we got. Let me do some measuring here. Six inches wide, six by 12 will fit. And this is six and a half. I say try. <sighs> I say try. He just tried her. It I didn't just go. Tried. It's a half inch too what wide. What is this? John That's the heater. This is your heater. Waste of space. <laughs> I like how it says negative earth. Yeah, I see that. Too. All the European cars say earth instead of ground. So we could probably put longer cables on it, set the battery up here somewhere and spin it over or use a jump box or something maybe, but we need to get like the right thing. I mean, that ain't gonna do anything for us. We might as well get the right battery for it. If it was just the cable, we could reach it. But look, it's got like five things going to it. So we really, we'd have to le lengthen all those wires to use a different battery on this. Look, I really did it in, didn't I? This is when I worked on it when I was 19 years old. I just like gooped this thing up with former gasket and or Permatex, whatever you want to call it. So we got a carb kit that we had ordered from eBay. I hope it has, okay, it does. I was worried about having these gaskets. So we have those, even though they're wrinkle dinkled. So this should be all of our stuff we need to rebuild this thing. I tried to get one that was complete. So I've never had a Weber carburetor apart before. Have you ever had one apart, honey? <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. We're, I'm not familiar with these. I'm used to the more standard American car carburetors, but can't be that much different, right? 
Surely not. Look, the goat's over here eating a rag. Uh, <laughs> this come off? I should. I've never had one apart. Oh, okay. okay. Is this gonna come off? I don't know. What size is that? You do it. You want me to do it? Okay, well, my something up. I just assumed this was a fuel filter, but it may actually hold some of this down. Let's see. No, it don't. So that has nothing to do with it. Look, there's your little fuel filter screen. It's clean. Yeah. Oh, that mill thing is holding it. Look. Yeah, there. So what does this guy do? It looks. This looks. This is 100% homemade. Look. Oh, I, I guess that. there's your jets. Maybe. How many? Oh. Oh lord. Man, it's got a deep bowl. Let me see. Look how deep oh, the lord. carb bowl is. Wow. Why does it need that big? This is one? very fancy. Why doesn't it have like Look, your seat needle and seat stuck. Look, needle in there is not dropping down. So it wouldn't have got any fuel if we would have hooked fuel up to it. This is way more complicated than most of what we take apart. Look, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It has like fifteen different things that look like jets in it and metering rods. That is crazy. Or That's sound. the throttle when you hit the throttle. Whoop, 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 whoop. Well, it doesn't seem to be Wait, stuck or anything. No, it's not stuck, but we got a lot of stuff to clean out Ready? and keep up with. Oompa, 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 oompa. <laughs> we got our JCPenney hammer here. We're going to take the float out of it so we can get that old needle and seat out. Look at the junk that just fell out there. Really stuck in there. So this is your needle and seat, which you know basically determines whether or not fuel goes into the bowl. This thing should be falling out of there. Like it should fall out right there when I do that. Let's see. Yeah. So you couldn't feel it, but I could. It's like feels like it's glued in there. I'll say it looks like yeah, it's it gummed up. Me. Which you could probably clean that and get it to work again. But our kit came with a new one, so we'll just save this. So this should be your idle mixer screws. Let's see where they're at. Half a turn, one turn, one and a half. Hey, that's that's what most carbs are, one and a half turns in. So we'll pull these out now that we know where they should be set at. Look at the little rotten O-ring under that. What does this guy do? Is it just a plug? I guess it just plugs that over, but look, see how rotten that is? Hopefully we have new seals, look. See it just coming apart? Our O-ring just fell apart when I took that out, see it? I don't know what that guy does either. Maybe it's an emulsion tube. That O-ring can part too. Yeah, all these O-rings are shot. Junk and threads there. So crazy, isn't it? See all the dirt on that? All the little passages are gonna be blocked. Why would this thing need this many things? This is so overcomplicated looking. Come on. We may need a bigger screwdriver than this. Yeah, there Ooh, it's so gummed up. It just like doesn't want to turn. It feels like it's glued in. What the heck? Look at that thing. Why does it need something like that? Why does it need all these? I can't it's even believe it. It's It's so complicated. For such a little tiny carburetor, it's very complicated. This guy way down there. I don't think I've have, ever worked on a carb that's so deep. I guess we're going to have to get a new breather assembly for this thing because the air filter is just non-existent. We have the top and the base, but we don't have a filter. We don't have that gasket, do we? Well, don't be squishing it off there. This little guy here just fell out last night. I guess it has these little... Trumpets. Trumpets? Right here, yeah. We turned it upside down and this check ball fell out. And we have no idea what hole that came out of. Do you think it came out right there? Well, but there should be one on each side, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. You might be right. It kind of looks like there might be something way down in there. Flip her back over. Spank it a little bit. Watch for where it comes from if something comes out. Well, where'd that come from? I got it on me, <laughs> I have no idea where that fell out from. Well, nothing else wants to come out. Ooh. Look at that mess. Look at all that. Syrup. Ooh, gross. It is nasty. She's as bad as Rocky about finding animal crackers. There's something on the ground. That's what I was about to say. Hey, this guy is this the choke oh my gosh Ooh, look at that it's like 
Like a clock or something. It's like a foot. Oh, it works these guys up and down. So if you watch our fan mail videos, you know in one fan mail, somebody sent Ralphie two different ultrasonic cleaners. They're actually built a little different, aren't they? This one's yeah. deeper. We're gonna try to fit as many of the parts off his carburetor in the ultrasonic cleaners as we can and try to remember where they came from. We're trying something here too. People were saying we could put degreaser in them. So this one has purple power and this one has simple green. So it's purple versus green today. I vote green. We'll see which one does. Purple. Today. Okay, so we're gonna put all this stuff in here. What else we got? Oh, this Lord. guy, we'll put it over here. If we had a really big one, it would help because we can't fit the actual carburetor body. I think we're gonna sit this in the, in the actual parts washer, I guess. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna turn both of these guys on and <laughs> Oh, it's so weird, isn't it? You never run both at the same time. It didn't sound any louder when we put the second one on, did it? I guess we'll go get a battery and come back and see what these look like. Hey. 51R. I bought cars for less. You know how many buying years that is? <laughs> Since when are batteries? 160 bucks. That's crazy. This is like the worst spot to put this battery. Oh. Man, that little guy. I think that's the same as a Honda Civic battery. Let's see what the rats did to the wiring. Oh, Lord. No sparks. All right, give it a crank. Let's see how this goes. This Don't be worried. There's nothing in there. We cleaned it. We seen him. Ooh, how do they do this again? It's, you gotta go legs first, kind of. The kinda. doors are so light. It's He's got to tell mom everything to do. You want it out of here, it's out of here. When I turn my key, it's not like it will like anything from the Okay, well, did you try to turn it over though? Yeah. It's not doing anything? That's what I'm telling you. Do I have to push this red switch? I don't, I doubt it has anything to do with that. So turn the key, let me see it. Oh God. Nothing? Here, flip this switch. I'm just going to see what it is. Those switches don't have nothing to do with ignition. Just flip them all, I don't care. So nothing works? Not up there. That's wonderful news. I'm gonna give it a wiggle. You keep trying to crank it. Maybe something will connect. Hey, that did something right? Yeah. Try it. Nothing? What's that? So we got some sort of battery connection. Hey, issue. there's a, a lot flickering right here whenever you do it. Right here, Dad. Want the lights Yeah. Watch it, Ralph. That's funny. Can we try it again? Hey! What lights on. It's a side light. I, I got a light in here now. All right. Try to turn it over. Hey! Like there you go. It's so... It's like quiet. Yeah, it's like quiet. Eek. I smell the marble. Try it again. Yeah, try it again. Oh, something went... It's, it, it's the connection up here. Yeah, try it now. All right, let me let me clean this connection. It must uh, the rats must have got to it, well, huh? There's like leaves on it and stuff, junk. Yeah. Well, at least it spun over. That's good news, huh? Let's get an update here. We turned these back on after we got back. Is that the green stuff? Yeah, the stuff on top. Look, the oil and junk's staying on top. So look, this is what the battery cable ends look like because everything on this was covered in rat pee. So we're gonna have to take these off and. Probably just end up replacing them if we don't clean up. There well, this is all the Ew. wires that were connected to that and all the junk that was stuck in them. Yeah, we're just gonna replace these battery cable ends. This one wouldn't even loosen up right. I think I'm just gonna cut this off. Get back to some good copper under here. And we're just going above and beyond on mom's car, aren't we? I love how small it looks. Like, it's like a foot long. You can't get over it, can you? No. That might fit in your Jeep. Oh. Don't you give him no <laughs> ideas. Do not. So you Idea? just need to talk mom into swapping engines in this thing, and you can get the old one out no. and put in your Jeep. No. I'm just <laughs> leave my stuff alone. Oh, the um, intake gasket came off, but it's not, like, broke. Okay. You want me to just take it off? I guess. Okay. We're good. That was like a homemade one. Did I make that thing? Probably. I bet money I made that. Man, I wish we had video of us working on it years ago. 
I don't really like it as like five different things hooked to this, but I mean, I guess it is what it is. I can't really change it now. Is it, the lights are working? Yeah, what is this? Oh, the windshield wipers are working? Oh, look. They're spinning. Yeah, the wipers are going. Look. Okay, that's good. Look at them. Look at them, little guys. Turn their little hearts out. <laughs> oh, the blower motor. I hear it. That's the fan. That's, that's not the windshield wiper. Where is one? There you go. That was it. So, this is air or something. This is headlights. What's this switch? Just leave it. Just, Just leave it. Let's, let's try to get it running. Enough. You've done enough. Yeah. You've done enough. Let's see if it makes a good connection now, honey bunny. We uh we shine this fender up with some marble just then. We can go ahead and stick the plugs and stuff back in it while the carb's cleaning. When I, I can hear something over here clicking on when I do that. I'm sure the starter's like literally right there. So is that what that yeah, is? Oh, Ralphie don't like nothing to be dirty. We gotta buff this thing, yes. huh? Yes, look how we can shine. You can buff it and then put your luggage rack and stuff back on. Like really good. Shined it. You did. It did shine it up, did didn't it? Stay pretty bad. Use your spark plugs. Does it matter which way they go in? You got a gap on one side? We'll check the gap. Oh gosh, it's rubbing off. Look, Ralphie, you always want to check stuff like this. Look, only 25,000 spark plug gap. There's the factory carb set up. So that's what it would have had from the factory right there. Look what it says, the size of the engine, top left corner. Seven. It's a 78. <laughs> We're used to like a 350. It's a 78. <laughs> They're like 27. That's probably good enough for who it's for. And what they're paying for sure <laughs> definitely good enough for what they're paying uh, yeah they're all like 27 i think we're good they're denso that's nice do you want to make good plugs i got the good stuff honey because yeah, you only had to buy four right we only had to buy four of them i thought this is mom's project we're working our little parts out aren't we man this has to be the easiest car to put plugs in we've ever yes. ever ever done like you either. and we've had some easy ones but not this easy <laughs> That is the smallest little cap in the world. So we got... This is going to be a brand new car. Yeah, I'm about to dry the wheels off of it. Look at that rotor. That's like the tiniest rotor. This is a slightly larger than average Caucasian male hand. Look at that <laughs> rotor. Look how it's got like a hook on the side. That's funny. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88 So it has no vacuum vents hooked up whatsoever. Hey, it's got a electronic ignition it's got a pertronics electronic ignition conversion we don't need the points that's okay. awesome somebody's made this a darn race car before we even had it look how this one works the plug wires screw into it so you just strip them back push them in there and screw them in i don't know if that's going to work or not look at the difference in length on this oh wow this one has such a bigger tab it's so funny looking isn't it uh -huh. i'm so not used to something that tiny so the firing order on this is one three four two that it may actually be the firing order of like every four cylinder I've ever worked on. I believe. Here we go. Well, let's see what we got in here. Yeah, hey, look at what it did. Look how. That was purple power. Look at that. It corroded it. It changed all that. It's just loose on there now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. This has some little pieces that I know have fell through it. 74 degrees Celsius. However hot that is, steam. Look how clean that thing got. It's like wow. Oh wow! Wow! That's crazy. I hear like a chain. There you go. That stuff is smoking hot. You see the parts? I hear it. It's gonna be like our last little. Oh, mm -hmm. I see a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. A whole bunch of stuff. How did you not pick that up with a magnet? It's not magnetic. Oh. What the heck did it leave on there? Did it come right off? It's yeah. Dry cuts. Maybe we need to spray some carb cleaner. And yeah. Try to blow through all these holes. Oh my gosh, where did it go? By my foot. By my what is it? It's two pieces? Why would that be two pieces? Now it's all dirty. You should have blown her out. Like I didn't that. think you. My I thought it was all one piece. It's so weird. What the heck is this stuff? Ew, it's look, man. What is that? Will it come off? Yeah. It's like miniature barnacles or something. Weird. Miniature barnacles. All right, we're going to get the carburetor here out of the diesel fuel that's been sitting in. 
So we've cleaned this car with three different chemicals. And look how it cleaned all that. I mean, that thing was gunked up like crazy. And I didn't even have to scrub it. And it was good to go. So we got the new needle and seat in there. It's not all jammed up now. Let's put the float back in. Judging by the pictures we took, I believe we've got all of our stuff back in here. The only issue we have is this little check ball guy. We can't find a second one. We never saw a second one fall out even. But it looks like the check ball goes in the bottom, then this guy, and this little guy on top, right here on each side where this the brass looking threads are. So we need to find another check ball like that. It's a good thing I kept every spare part out of every carb kit I've ever bought. There we go. Those even look to be identical size, so it should fall down there. These little blocks go in there. Yes, they... it's, operation. it's crazy like this should not have this many passages we got our new gasket on this i guess that just drains the bowl if you're needing to drain the bowl i don't know it doesn't seem like it does anything except for cover this hole in the bottom of the bowl this thing's more complicated than a dollar general application was for me but that's how i found you honey so we'll put our new filter and our new gasket on this tighten all this back down Yeah, I had to take it back apart because I forgot to put the gasket on first. So we figured out that's the only place this can fit. So don't know what it so does, odd. but we'll put it in there either way. We should be able to put it right back on like this. Well, that's cool. You can pull those out without taking the top off. We probably need to look into whatever's actually supposed to be covering this. Cause I know this ain't it. I don't know if I did this or not. I might have. So here's our little guys here. I think there's supposed to be another piece here we don't have or something because they're completely loose in there. It's gotta be something else, huh? This is gonna be tricky. Trying to get these gaskets in here. I guess we're gonna hang them from the bolts until we get them in there. They didn't want you taking that thing off, did they? Wonder if he uh, drained it. I guess it's got a look. It's got an auxiliary cap here. Yeah, he had a drain here. Look empty. Yeah. Why don't, get, why don't you get some antifreeze and put in it? Parent guard? Not for me. It's not parent guard. <laughs> it's called child safety lock. It's got chokes. Is that okay? Sure. I think she's gonna be about full. You gotta squeeze the hose. Squeeze. You ain't got a hose to squeeze hardly. Uh -huh. So little. No, do the bottom one. Oh, squeeze it a little bit. That's like as hard as a rock. So I'm gonna fill this bowl up. That's gonna take you a minute. Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. Are we we did we need to cut fuel line stuff? up or something? Where is that? Well, that's, that pulls from your nasty tank. Right. The belt is so small and short. It's like full. I think we're ready to try it, guys. Let's try it. I'm ready. Let's see what she does. Let's give it a whirl. I did something. Why is it kicking out? It's like, it's going hold on, let me, let me fiddle with the throttle here. All right, try it, Tosh. I'm gonna hold this choke deal. Try it again. Let me get some more fuel. It's weird, you can't put fuel down the carburetor because it's like at an angle, it's so odd. Do it again. So yeah, the starter is definitely kicking out what well, seems to be too soon. Hmm. It's definitely getting fire. Uh, it seems like it's getting fuel. I'm gonna feel Maybe we have a timing issue. I'm gonna adjust on the timing here. All right, try to crank it. All right, all right, all right. That didn't seem to help anything at all. I'm gonna try to push some fuel back in there. I don't know what it wants exactly yet. All right, try it now. Oh, is it smoking like crazy over here? What the heck? 
You screamed. <laughs> I heard you scream. I was like, oh my God. It's smoking. It sounded throatier than I expected. Really? Did you? Did I, you I had my head in the fan. I don't know what oh, it sounded okay. like. Did you think about where you at? Yeah, it, it sounded like. It sounded weird. better than I thought it would. Yeah. Let's try it again here. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can get it to run longer. Cool. All right, try it again. Yeah. Oh, I think it needs some more fuel. Of course, we don't have a fuel pump, so it's not pumping any new fuel to it. I haven't thought about that. It hasn't pumped any fuel up here either. I don't know if this has an electric or mechanical pump. I haven't looked, but whatever it is ain't working right now. Yeah, I got some gas in it, go. Like threw up. Uh, push water out? It's like the yeah. water is like full of junk and water. It's, really? And it's huh. pushing all that out. Wonder why it has a bunch of water in it. Maybe the gas is going uh, to it. I wonder why it's not pumping any fuel. We need to figure out if it has an electric pump or not. Well, I see this, which to me looks like a mechanical fuel pump block off, and the hose goes down here and just disappears. I bet it has an electric pump up under the car somewhere. I bet we have a bad electric fuel pump. I was guessing. What's what, the red us light? have a bad fuel pump? That's your switches on. Mm. Yeah, us have a bad fuel, exactly. We have a fuel delivery problem, what? She's cold, ain't she? You can say it, go ahead. Oh, I could. So I'm gonna force feed it gas here if it doesn't pop off my face and uh, see if we can keep it running longer. Go ahead. <laughs> Do it again. Go ahead. See, every time it does that, it could catch fire in my face. Yeah. Try it again. I want to stay running. Try it again. pushed out all kinds of junk back here, hasn't it? That's crazy. Muffler that we need to cut off. Exactly. Cut it off. Cut it off. Look, the bugs are crawling out of it. They're Ooh. they're not liking that heat. Wawa's backing up. She's worried about it. Go, Tosh. Definitely got a fuel problem. For sure. I've been putting fuel down through it. Should have enough in the bowl to run, but maybe not. Maybe we just need a fuel pump working, huh? Yeah. Smoking. Don't touch the smoke. Don't miss you broke. What do you think about How it? How much oil pressure? It you was look. up to 70. Lord. That's what I thought. Is that a vacuum leak? Because that's like a vacuum port and i see a hole there i wonder let me try capping that off well maybe i'm not filling our bowl up because the bowl's sitting here dry okay let's fill it up this way and try it again yeah it's like completely dry how's that important the top where's it going it may just be going through these holes and down in the engine flooding it probably what's going on here i feel them about halfway up probably where they should be I'm gonna make a bet that this runs a little longer than the uh, last time. All right, try it now.
That's awesome. Try to rev it from your pedal. Oh, did it hang up? <laughs> oh my god. It's, it's probably gonna run out of fuel here in just a second, but it's already spraying water everywhere under the hood. It's got a heater hose that's leaking. Oh yeah, we got plenty of oil pressure. The tag's not working though. Man, look at it sitting there and purr. It will in a second. Maybe. Maybe it runs a run out. <laughs> I would think he's got to be gone by now. All right, shut it off. Man. Did it sound different? Yeah. That's awesome. Look, you got smoke just rolling up over you here. Well, how much stuff come out back here? Oh man, where's all this stuff come from? The muffler. Why was it in there? How how is it in the muffler? I don't know. It's got it's all kinds of muddy water back it was here. Is it a dry? I don't know. Well, we gotta get fuel delivery, and we need to probably change the oil. And we got some water leaks already. We this thing's gonna be so awesome. Yeah. It's gonna be so cool. Yes. I can't wait. Look, we got bugs running away from the heat. I oh, mean, they are like homeless now. Oh, yeah. Look, right here, we got, we, got, oh, we got stink bugs coming out. Ew. They don't like the heat. And look, this right here was spraying on me. That's molded into the hose. So this lower hose here, has this little side deal molded into it. What in and we did not order that, did we? No. <laughs> it sounded good though. Yeah, it sounded great. The carburetor's popping a little bit. We'll probably have to adjust on that, but once you get tuned in, it ought to be fine. Let's find this fuel pump. Oh, Lord. So where's all that fluid coming from? I don't know. Nobody saw it leaking, right? It ain't dripping off to suck it. That's just coming out of the overflow of this tank. So low to the ground. I know this is leaking because it was spraying out. I see it dripping. That was like barely in there. Maybe if I push it down farther and clamp it, we'll be okay, Jed? Yeah. It's, oh, oh. There's like no way to get under this thing. I mean, we didn't even have to do 24 volts to get this thing to run. This has the tiniest drive shaft. Look how tiny that is. Whoop, 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 he ain't coming out. Look, he may be living in that tube in there. I didn't really think about that. That's a great little home for him. Yeah, look at that. You find it? Fuel pump, it's not hooked up anymore. It's not hooked up? I think they must have just chewed the wires off or something, oh. you know? It's one of them ones that sounds like it's got a rod knocking, one of them little clanky ones. <laughs> look at this. How crazy is that? The rats have got on top of the rear axle and ate the undercoating off. Man, that's crazy. I've never seen them eat the undercoating off a car. Are you in there, buddy? I don't see him. Flip that red toggle switch. Do I need to have the heat on? Maybe. That's not getting any power. Okay. Well, let me just try to hot wire this, see if it works. Oh, yeah. It works. Nothing, right? No. Yeah, that's what I figured. The tank's probably empty. Oh, well, this is the best news I've had in days. <gasps> It has oh, a drain pod. We should be able to just drain this. That's thing good. Without having to drop it. Yeah. Oh man, why don't all tanks have this? Like MG, they figured this out, didn't they? Yeah. That is awesome. I think it's got gas in it. Think so? Oh. Yep. Oh, smell. Well, it's old, yeah. Look. Shoo. Oh, it's I like old. that smell. You like it? Yeah. So why isn't it picking up this gas? This just happens to look like the same color fluid that was coming in the floor pan in this car, too. Ew. Doesn't it? Yeah, but this smells different. How much gas do I have in it? She a full tank. I'm going to stop it. I need to start to get a leak soon. Oh, great. I hate getting gas on my hands. I should have put gloves on. Round two. It's got to be getting close to empty, huh? Well, this definitely had a full tank because second full pan already. Weak stream. Yeah. Happens to the best of us. Maybe not. I think we're finally drained it all. It took forever. I'm gonna take this fuel line off between the tank and the pump because it looks all chewed up and rotten. Probably just go ahead and put a new filter on it and a new rubber line. And I guess we're gonna blow through this line going to the tank and see if uh, it's clogged up too. See the chew marks? 
Mm. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and drain the oil too while I'm laying under here. These wires here go to the transmission. I don't know what for, but it's two green wires. At some point, I probably need to figure out what that is. That may have something to do with your speed on there or something. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh. That's pretty black. Look how black it is on my hand. All right, we're going to blow this fuel line out. So this thing's got a, a Fram oil filter on it. Uh, that's not going to work. Where's our oil? We're going to have to get a fil filter wrench. So we had a feller send this to us in the fan mail. We haven't used it till just now. But it's made for situations just like this. Oddly enough, this uh, oil filter is directly above the frame rail. So there's not a way to get a filter wrench below. Oh, look at that. Turn it right off there. That's the stuff. Well, thank you for sending that to us. We really appreciate it. I love getting tools that I need. It's got like a tube that goes to this. And it's got a purulator adapter. I don't know if this is it's not the factory setup or what, but well, it's pretty black. Oh, it's just a little baby. It's been a good kitty. Are you gonna wake up and see us? Huh? He's convinced there's still something in that motor. Scooter, there's nothing in there, buddy. There's nowhere for them to hide. Can it even fit? How do I get on there? Okay, maybe I can angle it more. It's literally like... The same size? It's the same size as the gap. You have to lean it to get it in there. This thing's built so <laughs> weird. Like, there's so little room in this thing. I know it's a small car, but still, like, they brought everything in around the engine. How much horse donkeys does it have? Goat stomps. A few. Yeah. I think it's around 60. So this is the line coming out of the tank. It appears to be welded in solid or something. I don't know if this is how the factory was, but there's no, like, lock ring like an American car to take the sending unit out. So I hooked the other end of this line to the line coming off the gas tank. I'm going to blow through it to make sure we're getting fuel through there. It's whistling in my ear right now. I see the gas fuel. Oh, you see the... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got a quarter-inch fuel line like a lawnmower. <laughs> we'll put some fresh gas in here. I'm going to try to hook up that electric pump, or maybe we can pump some fuel through those lines. Maybe we can get this thing to stay running. It'll be good. Oh, oh my gosh. So... She's full. Yeah, it doesn't hold much because we couldn't even put two cans of gas in it. So it doesn't hold a lot of fuel. So I've decided to go ahead and change the fuel line. We left the metal line in place from here to the rear axle. I went and changed it because they had like an aluminum 3 8 line and it went to a 3 8 hose that was slid over a quarter inch line and they cramped it down as far as they could. So we're putting a quarter inch hose on the quarter inch metal line to a lot more gas filter. I probably need one a little bit bigger than this. And then I stepped it up with brass fittings to 3 8 into the carb. So I want to get a different banjo fitting that will accept a quarter inch fuel line because why would it need to step up to 3 8 when it's quarter inch all the way up here? So we'll probably look for one of those so we can replace this later with something different. There you go. So after a bunch of work, this is all done here. Kind of janky, but it's done. All new fuel hose and filter and stuff. And under here, so we have a new quarter inch line coming out of the tank over the rear axle to this little dinky electric pump. And then it's going back to the factory line, which goes up to what you just saw. I've hooked a new wire up to this red wire here because it was totally disconnected. That comes up to the floor where somebody drilled the wrong hole for the roll bar or something or swapped out roll bars. Should have went with a red wire probably uh, since it's a positive wire, but wanted to match our interior. So <laughs> what are you gonna do, right? Are you sleepy? sleepy. It's already dark outside. Okay. You better stop. That's ridiculous. I don't know what this is supposed to power, this toggle switch, but it's about to power our fuel pump. Uh, you unpower something before you even know what it's powering? I don't know what it is. We'll figure it out in the long run. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Hope I wired it right. It ran for like two seconds. I bet it broke. I bet it popped a fuse. I bet it's too much of an amp load on it. Yep, it popped a fuse. Wherever it's getting power from. Well, snap. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Well, we're going to run a new power wire from the battery to this. There. Oh. See a red wire? Yeah. Yeah, give it a yank. Okay. Okay, I got it wired straight off the battery to the switch to see if this works. I hear it. It's going to pump right here. You should see oh, it. Oh, I see it filling it up. Uh -oh. It's so weird. I seen it. 
on the oh there you can see it yeah that's what it does yeah. uh, it's not pouring out of the carburetor so i think our needle and seat's doing the right things all right well let's try to crank it once it starts click your fuel pump on okay. now all right let me help you get it running hold on all right go for it nothing back here i don't think we have any brakes in the back at least i hear it okay it's doing so all right this brake's working a little bit we got a little bit of brakes in you look like you barely fit in there it's so it's so tiny give it a rip it's leaning out a little bit i think you like it it does sound good. I'm gonna mess with the idle mixture real quick. The valve seems quiet. We'll have to get the timing just right on it. I'm really kind of surprised it's sitting here idling so good. Yeah, it stopped smoking. She's a she's a jewel, huh? Meanwhile, she doesn't care a bit. Give it a little rev rev. Did it hang up? Yeah. All right, turn our fuel pump off. I don't know what it's doing because it has a return spring. All right, start it back up, Ralphie. Man, I think kicked off yeah, immediately. Awesome. Like, you turn your fuel pump on? Okay. You know he did. Okay. You know he did. He yeah, he's on this the, stuff. All the rolls, he's got it. I'm gonna give it. I bet the pedal in the here pedals. is stuck. Because it's got a return spring on it. It shouldn't be. Every time I would hit it, I'd have to pull it back with my toe. Ooh. How fast are you going? 15, son. Uh, 
Let me get some draw for you. All right, now put it forth. So we got a coolant leak down in here. Let's see. Oh, look, the cricket's coming out now. That little hose there is what's leaking. So I guess we'll have to wait till it cools off and try to fix that leak. And this is still leaking too, I think, a little bit. That's what the cricket told me. Engine's getting quieter, smoking less, carbs running better. I'm really glad that our fuel pump and stuff works. Yes. That's awesome. So we need to cap off the vacuum thing uh, on the intake. What else we got to do? We gotta drive it, exactly. It's completely black, dark outside, so we were gonna let this cool off. We'll try to fix that coolant line and we'll try to drive it in the morning. Yes. Woo-wee! So how excited are you? I'm number 10 excited. I've been waiting on this for, seems like ever. Just 17 years. That's true. But man, it is I'm running gonna, so I'm good. Gonna, I'm gonna drive wheels off this thing. I'm gonna drive it everywhere. I don't know why I couldn't get it running back then. Like, I well, know. I had it running one time, but like, I wonder why it never ran after I put it back Thank together. You, I guess we'll come back in the morning and we'll fix a couple of things and drive it. Sounds good. Woo! Woo. Hey, today has been successful. Success. Good morning. It's the next day. Got my church hair on. And we put some PB Blaster on the throttle pedal because it's actually the pedal assembly under the dash that's messed up. Why it's not wanting to go back to idle. Because it got peed on by rats for 17 years. So they're going through the gears already. That right there is where our leak is. And I went in with a little tiny screwdriver this morning and tightened this uh, hose clamp up and that one. But I don't know if that's gonna be enough or not. I'm really not sure, but it'll be super hard to replace that hose without pulling the cylinder head or water pump or something. So I think I'm just gonna leave it. So we have a possible leak here, possible leak there. I topped off the coolant some more. So I don't know, I hope we're good. I was about to lower it back down and then I thought, I better check the rear differential. It seems to have a little bit of pinion slop to it. And who knows the last time somebody checked this, nothing pouring out. How low do you think it is, Ralphie? I don't know. Ooh, okay. Well, I guess it was just almost full. At least we got some oil in our jack. That's an important step. It's so cute, it's so tiny. I guess it's as good a time as any to crank it up and see if it leaks or not. You gotta turn the fuel pump on. She knows. Look, he tells her everything step by step. <laughs> she knows. I'll choke it out here. We gotta hook up a choke deal. You should be able to crank it there. I forgot to cap this off. All right, we need to cap that. That'll be good. We need to hook up a vacuum advance, honestly. You're so cute. So I took that rubber cap off that was had a hole in it anyway. We put a hose on here, and there's actually was no barb on this. There's some kind of threads that are smaller than eighth inch pop, and I don't know what they are. So I just stuck that right on top of it, and we'll see how it runs with the vacuum advance now. All right, I guess we're ready to try it again. <laughs> Any brakes? Nope. You got a little bit. I had to pump them. Yeah. So you may have to pump your brakes, which is really, it's probably a good idea for your whole life, honestly. You probably should pump the brakes every now and then. <laughs> That's a good life lesson for you. <laughs> just pump the brakes every now and then. Y'all just stay clear of me. How about that? <laughs> Steer clear of all. It's really like poppy sounding, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's been waiting for this for 17 years. She never got to drive it when we owned it before. Because I never could figure out how to get it running. This thing is fun. Go, Lucy, go, mother. <laughs> Let's 
scooters after her. <laughs> How's your brakes? Kinda. Kinda? Not really. You got a little bit? Like it does sound good. <laughs> it did sound good till it died. Hey, fuel pump. Fuel pump's running, yeah. <laughs> she needs to rev it on out. There you go. What do you think, Squeeze? Oh no! Oh no! Mom's off! <laughs> She's gonna be checking the fence with that thing for long. Huh? You gotta keep her cleaned out. Oh my word, this thing is fun. You pop out of gear? Chickens. You need to give somebody else a chance to ride in it, huh? Come oh, on, oh, watch out, chickens. You gonna give anybody else a chance? Okay. Uh, oh, is it brakes? The brakes is probably not the best. I, I know, but I know how to drive it. Well, let me let me drive it, and we'll we'll like assess the brake situation. Don't fall in love with it. Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to drive this thing, Alfie. You need to like pop the. How do you do this thing? What's your that looks so cool. Spin it. Oh, it don't have no brakes. I told you. Yeah, the bro. 
brakes aren't the greatest. Did it pop it out of gear? Yeah, it popped out of gear a couple times on me. Was it deaf or? I just work here. No. Okay. It don't have any brakes till about the third pump, does it? No. <laughs> it does not want to be floored either. It likes this much throttle, but it don't like all of it. I love it though. It is fun. It's, it's fun. so it, awesome. It it's so cute. It, it oh, look. wait. Rocky, you cannot get on oh. this car. Where's he at? He just showed up showed back up. here. What are you doing? <laughs> you can see it, but you can't get on this one. He's coming to check it out, Daddy. Yes. All uh, right, Ralphie's wanting to give it a rip here. I, can you do it with your hand? I'm going to manage. I'm Poor gonna... Wawa on her hand. She's a little bit disabled right now. Crunk it up there. Man, it starts easy, don't it? Okay. I'm watching. Rev it up a little hard. Then come out of the clutch, kind of slower, or, or that way, either way. Stay in first. It'll turn pretty tight. Just keep turning. Just your size, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Watch out, chickens. <laughs> transmission fluid lamb I didn't see a plug on the side to check it but it's a little whiny so we might need to check that before we get out of the road. Sure it don't come out of here. Clutch in. Clutch in. Brakes. More brakes. 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 Alright. Cut her off. You're done. There you go. You like that? Yeah. It's my turn. Alright Wawa's wanting to go for sure. Did you love it? Yeah. Did you see me shift from first to second? Oh I, I seen the shift. Uh, he's been wanting to do that for a year. Uh, cranks her up. Okay, with my what? two fingers. First time I shifted too early coming around, so it was like, what, what, what? So I just put it back in place. Oh, 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 okay, hold on. Clutch in. <laughs> I had it in gear. Oh my god. What Clutch did in. I just do? You start it in gear. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this then. How about that? Okay, oh, now try to start it. Alright, fuel pump on. There you go. Now, clutch in. You got the clutch in? Yeah, Put it in first. All right, give it a little rev rev. And then let out the clutch kind of slow. You're always pretty good about taking off of the clutch. It doesn't take much. Watch out, Rocky, here she comes. Rocky's over eating. Doing good. It's fun with one hand in. <laughs> get a couple of issues sorted out and that'll be really fun. It's so cute, isn't it? I wanted to rev it up and pop the clutch and like spin around. It turns really tight, doesn't it? Yeah. It's awesome. I like it. Second or third pump, they work. Do you love it? <laughs> yeah. It's so cool, isn't it? It's kind of hard. She can't even like get her hand to the key because of her 
splint on her hand, so poor the thing. The worked fine for me first thing. I never even... Oh, so that's why you didn't get stopped. I was going to take it out of gear and just let it roll. Well, it might. If we bleed them, it might help. We didn't even bleed that's them. That's true. I mean, we could have at least done Man, that, right? Like, put, put your I'm too excited it. to get to but, drive it. But it anybody works on carburetors? I don't know anybody. I did my work on it. <laughs> Are you trying to drive it? Yes, my turn. Oh, my Lord. Oh, God. You don't know how to drive a manual. Oh, yeah, I do. You know how? Yeah. What do you do? You do the steering wheel. <laughs> I'll have to teach you more about how to drive a manual on something that's easier to drive. Is there different types of cars? What? <laughs> Squeeze, what? Is there different types of cars? There's all different types of cars, yeah. It's moist. Uh, I don't I don't see it spraying anything, though. Oh, our little thing come out of our carburetor. Well, maybe that's look, why it was... Look, it's down here stuck on the exhaust. We knew that thing wasn't going to last long. Well, maybe that's what's up. Wait, this? <gasps> that's a thing that goes in the thing. That's the thing that goes in the thing. Yes, because it has notches. <laughs> well, no wonder it's not running around, huh? Where's the other one? I don't know. I bet we've we cleaned it up. We have flipped the needle, hadn't we? Yeah. <laughs> or that rat's took that, hit it somewhere. Maybe it's you in the, the fender. Rat I think that goes in before the other thing. What thing? <laughs> what thing? That's what definitely going to throw the carburetor off, thing? for sure. We've lost even more than that. What? The venturi thing in the center, I think that's what it's called, is totally missing. Like, I can put my hand all the way to the back throttle blades, and they're supposed to be like a... Oh, Lord's day. No wonder it's not running right. Probably look around turn two where I gassed it. There's no telling. <laughs> Was it running better at first and then got worse or no? <gasps> we ran oh, it over. Oh, that's one piece of it. We <laughs> ran it over. Here, here. Oh, shoot. Oh, so, there's here. more pieces we've lost. Yeah, turn two got her right there. Shoot. But when we put that breather base on it, it felt like they were in it there then. It did feel secure then. We thought we were fine because we put the breather base on and they felt like they weren't going to fall How out. How'd you not see that slinging out from under the car? I don't know. Is it hot? It's hot. That will affect how it runs. <laughs> it's not that hot. This is great. Who does this? Drives a car and loses pieces like, on the drive. Lost three pieces of the car. Hey, I can't believe it was, it even was running. still running. Look, Rocky. He's come to see what you got. It's, it's carburetor pieces. Don't let him get burnt. He, he, I know what he's thinking. He's thinking Weber 40 DCOE2 is what he's thinking. Is that what he's thinking? That's what he's thinking. I can't believe it was even running. Hey, she's a gem. That's all I got to say. She's a gem. No wonder it's running back. She took a licking and kept on ticking. That. That cool? Hey, no, sir. Oh, is he sneaking no. in? This is not for you, Rockies. Get out of my car. Go. Hey, we don't need you in here. If we, didn't we don't video, need you in if here. We didn't video him, people would never people believe, never believe it. it. I just seen no writing on that burn on that twirly. I could did. not believe it. Was he shocked? I've seen you like floor a car or whatever, but I've never seen you cut a donut in one like that. I couldn't make no, I wasn't expecting it either. That was great. Yeah, it's probably some shaky footage, but you know. A little bit too. shaky footage. It's really shaking there. Really. Man, what a jewel, huh? I love this. What a jewel. I, I feel accomplished because it didn't run for me 17 years ago, except for once with the valve cover off. And I felt like I was going to have trouble getting it run this time because I couldn't get it run back then. But I feel better. I've learned some things in life, you know? Absolutely. Apparently so. Well, I guess it's time to end this one off, huh? Well, this has been a real success, you know? I'm super happy that it actually worked out for us. Like I said, I was a little bit nervous about whether or not this was going to work out. I guess I just didn't have the skills necessary to get it run 17 years ago, well, so. You never got to drive it when now, we had it before. I don't even remember sitting in it before. You probably sat in it, but I never even drove it. We just started up with it sitting still, so. This is the first time any of us have drove it. We're going to have to do a little bit of training for squeeze or maybe something that I can get my feet around the pedals, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a little scary when your feet can't get over there, you know. So we're going to have to do some training for squeeze and drive it. What are you doing there? Pouring out for your homies. Exactly. What, you got moon pies? Oh, man, they got the moon pies. Uh, a fan brought us at Ford Fest, so... Uh, RC Cole and a Moon Pie. That's... It's your dinner, baby. That was the go-to back in the day, wasn't it? I think it was. Man. Remember, eat your bourbon barbecue vanias. There's nothing better. Drink your RC Colas. I guess buy MGs. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> it worked out pretty good. The thing runs pretty good. It's awesome. Um, Super cool. We'll have to see what a carburetor costs, or maybe we'll get the parts and pieces to get this one running better. We'll do something to get it going better. Yeah. And like we said, we need to do the brakes. We need to get a top on it. 
Yeah. Probably need to get some casings for it, you know. But thanks for watching. We couldn't do this without you. It'd just be home movies if y'all weren't here, you know. If you keep watching them, we'll keep filming them. That's the plan, right? That's right. Here you go, honey. No, thank you. Man, too bad we don't have a grill out here, right? Hey, they They're like really the good grill. on the grill. You can check out our second channel at... Sleeper Dude 2. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at... Sleeper Dude 88. We're going to be getting back on Mom's F100, trying to get the fuel delivery issue fixed on it. Maybe giving it a little bump up in the HPs, you know, the goat stomps. Maybe a few more goat stomps. Be good. We're going to get back on the red Fairmont Futura soon. The big block twin turbo project. It's been a few months. We've been waiting on parts for it. We now have the parts we need to get the engine mounts and transmission mounts made. So we're going to do that. We're also going to tear into the Malibu to get it ready for Cleason cars at Bradenton, Florida in November. That's the next event we're planning on going to. Thank you to everyone that come out to Ford Fest to meet us. That was yeah. awesome. A lot of good people there. I'm so excited. I love it. It's so little. It's like, I don't know, drive like a souped up go kart or something. Like another level of go kart. Yeah. You know, I couldn't help but notice that the last like four or five videos have been about you. Got your Ford okay. truck going. You broke my car. We fixed the car. Uh, I scared you in the car. It's all been about you. Bought an MG, cleaned it up. You know, got it running. Can we make a video about me? Sure, here? go ahead, go ahead. This, I'll you, let this you used have to be the my channel. I'll let you have the Fairmont oh, video you. coming thank up. You. I appreciate it. <laughs> No, right. no part of that. Well, let's go give Vanya her RC Cola and give Rocky his Vanyas. There you go. Tongue tied. Yep. Who likes mom's new car the best? Me. Oh, okay. I'm the best at driving. Oh, uh, well, sure Wawa did good. Hey, for a one armed bandit, Wawa did pretty good in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the best car we've had. Best one ever. You like it? Yeah. I know it's on a pink limousine, but. Stacy likes it. <laughs> what else can you want? Yeah. Exactly. It's I cannot believe the rats didn't eat the interior up more. Thank the Lord. Yeah. We don't have website. Don't go looking for it. And no. cut the cheese. Oh, gosh. Don't, don't, cut, cut, the cheese. don't cut the cheese. Yeah, don't. don't Leave cut the cheese alone. Always cut the cheese. Cut always the cheese. cut the cheese. Always do it in the meetings. In the meetings. Oh, in meetings. Oh, cut oh, the cheese oh. in meetings. When it's quiet. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Man, I should have got that in slow motion, shouldn't I? <laughs> Granny, she used to never come over here. Now she's like, that's the best thing I've she, ever ate. She's eye level. I can't believe for her age she never tried them before. I you know? know. You should have tried this sooner. Yeah. You should have tried that back in the All 20s right, and 30s. The last one. You know? Oh, it's that good stuff. <laughs> you don't got to worry about her biting you. She ain't got <laughs> a tooth. like the Dorito cleaner. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no. no, she don't have any teeth. She had teeth in you. She ain't got any teeth. She ain't got any hearing. She's barely got vision. Yeah. She's on her last limb. Oh, yeah. Poor thing. She's definitely on her last udder. <laughs> She's down to one. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, who's going to give her some RC Cola? Me. Here you go. Mmm. Wow. Me. Man. She looks so slim. Mm. Good stuff. Tell them bye, Granny. I don't have any food. I don't have anything. You can't get away from her. She's six feet tall. <laughs> Tell them bye, Rocky. Rocky likes the MG, don't mm. he? Bye. What, what what started all this? I don't even know. Bye! She's giving her mom a ride. <laughs> She's dragging a stick. She's gonna lose them carburetor parts out for sure now. She's like a kid. Knocked it out of gear. Popped out of gear on you, me. you probably slung the carburetor pieces back out of it. He said, I got no transmission. <laughs> 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 she told me jump it, trying to jump, make me jump the driveway. Oh my She's god. A bad influence. Yes, she is. Oh my gosh. I swear I turn around and it's it's way back there. You saw a rat on the transmission? I swear I seen it. It was like this big. It's got to end. The rat's still in it? It's still in it. I swear it's got to end. No way. I swear I just seen it. I seen it's tail and I was like freaking out. I, I seen it's body. It was like this big.